On most modern cars, there is a fuse panel. Uh, just if you open the car door on the side of the dash, this is a cover that covers it. And these are all the fuses for all of the different electronic uh, components of your car. And they have different numbers on them. Those are for different levels of current or amperage that can go through it. Um, this here is a 15 amp fuse. And if you see right there, it's blown. That piece of metal is separated. It broke, it fried, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so that prevents the electronics from getting destroyed. So we need to replace that one. You can get these fuses. Now there are some different sizes. Um, the, this particular one is an ATM high amp fuse. And so these you can get pretty cheaply at pretty much any store, Walmart, uh, any auto store will have them. And that little yellow thing in there is called a fuse puller. Um, typically, there is a fuse puller somewhere in this panel for you to use when I'm at home and I don't need the fuse, or, and I need to check a fuse. I'll really just take a pair of pliers, and they'll it'll function a lot better than the the rinky dink plastic thing. Now I will show you also. Okay, so this is under the hood of the car. There's another fuse box. These are much larger fuses. And then there are some small fuses. This one appears to be in crooked. Um, and then these here are relays. And you can test relays somewhat differently than you can uh, tell if a fuse is bad. But these are all components that can go bad. And so that's where both of them are. So if something in your car that requires electricity isn't functioning you can go ahead and check the fuses on both the dash by the door or under the hood of the car and then using that fuse puller just pop each one out and inspect it okay so what we're gonna do is go ahead and push the fuse now there's no right or wrong way you can put them in upside down and it's not going to really affect anything so we'll go ahead and put the 15 amp fuse, the new one, in and we are set. So we'll go ahead and put the panel over it. And it's a good idea to keep some of these in your car. If you ever get stranded because a fuse is blown, you can also swap them out if there's a vital part of your car that needs to function. Now I will show you another type of fuse. Um, these are in some components of your car. This is a low amp fuse. And uh, these, uh, these also blow. There's a really tiny filament in there. Some of them are thicker. Usually the end caps will tell you the rating and you definitely want to match the rating or you can ruin your, uh, your equipment in your car. So, I hope that helps give you a little overview of fuses in a car. Thanks for watching.